Okay, kids, what do we got here today? We're gonna try and do a complete teardown in a uh, quicker time than it takes me to make a grilled cheese sandwich. So, the sandwich is on the stove, it's turned on, and we're gonna quickly tear down this HP Mini 110. Now, it's been nicely abused by some sort of child where it's got stickers all over it. This is actually one of two I got. Uh, so, this one is kaput, so first thing we're gonna do is yank the battery. <clears throat> They're a little bit hard to get out and they're not the same as other netbooks, which is strange. Now, in the back here we're gonna find three screws. One there. And these are all of different lengths too, so kind of separate them. Uh, I think these two are the same and the ones on the other on the rest of the computer are a little bit different. So our point here is to do a teardown because I need to get in inside here to get the keyboard out clean that. And that's where your last screw is, right in there. If you look right there. Alright. Also, uh, if you need to get in here to, I don't know, change your RAM or your hard drive or anything, uh, get that screw. You can pretty much do it all once you get this in there. So we've got the battery out, now we're going to go for the RAM. Two more screws. These ones are, I think, slightly different lengths. I usually just leave them right in the uh, plastic. I'm gonna just put the plastic off to the side. These ones they don't fall out. Okay. That's down. And two clips on the side. Just peel them off with your fingers. They will stick back on. If not, use a little bit of glue or anything you have at hand. All right, now we're gonna flip this back over. I think we're gonna have to abort the uh, cheese sandwich idea because I need a knife. Let's do a quick check on that sandwich. Make sure I'm not burning things. the show yeah racing the sandwich now I'm gonna try and get in here with a knife or a sponger you use something like this if you have one uh, I don't particularly like using them not just in this case because this is metal against metal you're not really gonna harm anything you might be kind of hard pressed to see it from there but there's gonna be two clips behind the keyboard here you can just lift it enough to get your fingernails like so, you're not breaking anything as long as you're pulling it towards yourself, pulling kind of upwards. I missed, oh, I missed a big step. That cheese sandwich is gonna get burnt. All right, so the when you pull off these uh, these black covers on the bottom, you want to go back and then take off all the four screws, which out here going up going too fast too fast gotta have my cheese sandwich all right just four quick screws up back and get that one and I'm missing anyways in most cases you can have four screws to remove um, see how these ones are longer than the back the ones in the back here so A good idea for separating them is also to put them in an ice cube tray or anything like a magnet. Got this entire job here is I think roughly only like nine screws or something, maybe less. Now we pull up the keyboard. Yeah, so don't force it. it feels like something's not coming. And it could be another screw. And on this laptop, it's actually pretty easy to get into. 
Now we've got access to the CMOS battery down there. So if you want to reset the BIOS or anything, I have another video coming about that because I found a really, really easy way to, uh, if you ever get locked out of a computer, then to actually access the BIOS. But now we get to the teardown. You can see the hard drive is right there. And first things first, I'm going to get this. I, I'm after the keyboard. So I'm going to get this down here. I don't know how well you can totally see that, but I'm going to, there's a little lip on this. And you just want to pull back, pull it towards you, and then gently pull that out. It's just a ribbon cable. And you see right there, when you put it back in, you can just fold that back down. And then you've got the keyboard hopefully working again, because this one did not work. Well, it works, but it works oddly. Now, for the hard drive removal, I'm not going to do a complete tear down here. Now, what do we got here? We got two, just two screws holding in this case. I need the hard drive on this. And as you can see again, these are different silver screws. So remember, as you're going, it's good to even have a piece of paper and just write out on a piece of paper where the screws go and just put them in there. As you can see, you've got two silvers and a black on this. And it just comes out like that. No, one more very long screw. We need the back one here. Yes, I was correct. And that will relinquish the hard drive. All right. Some dusty in there. What do we got here? A Samsung. I think it's like a one. Yeah, one sixty gig. All right, so hard drive is out. That's it. That's pretty much torn down. If you want to clean the fans out and all that stuff, now would be the time to do it. And if you want to go any further. That is pretty much up to you because there's not a lot, a lot more to do in here without replacing the uh, hard drive or I guess you could maybe get to the fan or something, but no, that's about that's about good. So I'll let you guys know how this goes, but there's at least how to get your hard drive and get the keyboard off. Now what I'm going to do with the keyboard here is I've already tried cleaning these contacts and that was not the problem. The problem may lie in here. Someone probably spilled on here or this connection has just gone bad. So I'm going to peel this off, oh maybe I'm not going to peel this off, that may be a complete other video in itself, but maybe I'll just try and spray some cleaner in there and see what, see what happens. Anyways guys, thanks for watching, that's the basic teardown of the HP Mini 101, thank you for watching. Oh the sandwich, how did that come out? Did we burn you fella? Did we burn ya? Was the mission successful? No, we're good. We're golden. Cheese sandwiches all day long. Alright, bye-bye. Thanks.